Hey guys, it's Mia, so I'm going to show you four to five heatless hairstyles, and I said four to five because I'm not actually sure how many I did, um, but yeah, they're just really easy heatless hairstyles, and the first one is actually a fake fishtail, and this is for those who aren't really good at fishtails, or just don't really know how to get the hang of it or something like that. Anyways, you just grab your hair all on one side, and just grab an elastic and tie it off. Next thing you do is just get a little hole and just feed your hair through and then of course you want to tighten it just to make it secure and stuff. And tightening actually makes it like, what's the word I'm looking for, teased. So that's actually the main thing that keeps this whole braid in place. But anyways, just grab another elastic and go a little bit like maybe around two inches down and then just tie it off again. And then you just want to do the same thing, just make a little hole and then grab all of your hair and just feed it through. And it's just going to make like a little loop. And this is kind of what makes it look like a fishtail. And then just tighten it again. I'm just getting a little closer look, but this is basically what you do all the way down. Um, of course, if you have longer hair, just do it more times. So once you do that, you actually want to take out the elastics. And I found them a little difficult to take out, so I actually grabbed a piece or a pair of scissors and just cut them out because I used actual rubber bands and they got kind of stuck in my hair. But just take them out however you'd like and that's actually it. And you just fluff up your hair and BAM! Looks like a fish tail, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this next one is actually going to be a really messy high ponytail and I've gotten a lot of requests for this, which is why I'm doing it. But you basically need two hair ties and for the first one, just grab your hair up really really messy and really high up. And then you want to flip your hair over kind of and just make it kind of droopy and then tie it off really loose, I guess. And the reason you're doing it loose is because after you do that, you just want to grab the top and tighten it. And then just pull out some pieces and you're not done here. Just grab the next hair tie and tie it off again and this is what keeps it secure because the first one wasn't, if that makes sense. But anyways, that's it. You just want to tighten it one more time, and you're good to go! Yay! And then just to make it a little different, I'm just grabbing one little piece from my ponytail, braiding all the way down, and then you just want to wrap it around the base of your ponytail just to hide the hair elastic, and then just bobby pin it in place. So this one is the one where I'm not sure if it's four to five, um, but this is the third hairstyle, I guess. So the first one you want to, or the first thing you want to do is just make a middle part, and I have an extreme, extreme cowlick, and it's really annoying. Like, what is this? <laughs> so you just want to grab a piece from the first side, and you're gonna do a Dutch braid. If you don't know what a Dutch braid is, um, you should definitely look up a tutorial. But just grab three pieces, and then just start it off. What you do is just grab one piece from each side. And the reason this is different from a French braid is it's like it's inverted. So you're braiding, I think, under instead of on top. Yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> but once you've gotten a little bit lower, then you just want to finish off the braid and just braid like normal. And you just want to tie it off and then it doesn't really have to be neat because you're going to end up taking it out. And then this is where the weird part comes in. I guess you want to make like a pancake braid and you're just pulling out little sections of each side to make the braid look wider and just kind of bigger and fluffier. And I think it looks kind of cool. So you just want to keep doing that. And then of course just do it on both sides. Now once you've gotten each side done, you're going to look a little crazy. Um, but once you've done that, just grab some bobby pins and just pin them to the side of your head. And once you've done that, also take out the elastics because you don't really need them anymore. 
So this is where you could leave it like this, or you could just continue and do the next thing. Um, but if you like this, then you can just leave it like that. So this is the next part of this hairstyle, I guess. Um, the fourth hairstyle. So I don't know what I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so what you wanna do is just throw all your hair to the back, and I know it wasn't even because I wasn't using a mirror for this. And sorry if my voice is funny, I'm actually really sick right now. But basically just do a ponytail, hair ponytail, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then And then you're done. I don't know, I feel like it looks a lot better when you put the or you make a ponytail, so that's that. So this last one's actually a side bun, but it's kind of like a high side bun. I've never really seen anyone do this, but I do these all the time. And you want to start off by doing like a really, really 80s side ponytail. <laughs> so just do a really high ponytail on the side, and you can actually wear it like this. I wear it like this all the time, but obviously it's not really practical, and if you want to make it look better, then just wrap it in a bun, and that's what we're going to do. Yep, just tighten it and then wrap it in a bun, and honestly, that's it, and you're good to go just like that. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed watching these videos, and um, if you like these hairstyles, then subscribe and stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.